Hey Aquarius, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for August 2023. This is a timeless reading, <clears throat> so whenever you see it, it's when it is meant for you. All right, let's get into the tarot for Aquarius. You could be eating tacos. I saw ground beef at first, but I was about to say shrimp tacos, and I think I got that for, I want to say Scorpio. All right, next 48 hours for Aquarius. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio or someone could have it highly aspected in their chart. Parsley death, yeah. <laughs> so definitely check out Scorpio's reading. Salt, protection. Onion, tears. Someone could be actually putting their tears into their spell work because I'm seeing a, a tear drop onto salt. I don't know what that does, but I'm just seeing it. Overall energy is Mandrake Impasse. Yeah, something could have become dreadfully boring to you. Maybe it's something you always eat. It's become boring or something that you've been doing has become dreadfully boring to the point of tears for some of you or not actually crying, but you're just like, some of you could be, but some of you are just like, this is just, I heard dreadfully boring. So it's coming to an end. Or an aspect of it is ending, it's changing, transforming. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what this is for Aquarius. Next 48 hours for Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Tower, Aries, Judgment. Overall energy is a star. There you are, Aquarius. There's some money coming towards you and spirits wanting you to save it. There could have been like a job offer or money that was held back from you. But I see it coming towards you. If someone was trying to hold some money back from you with the tower, they're going to be forced to give it to you. One way or another. With the tower, yeah. Someone's going to be forced to give that money to you. It's, it's rightfully yours. Yeah, with judgment and tower. Someone's facing a judgment call here, especially if they were holding this money back. But with the overall energy being star, I see you healing from something. Let's clarify and get more on this. That was the moon card, Cancer Energy. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is the Ten of, Pen of, Ten of Wands. <laughs> the Empress, Libra, Taurus. Your mother could be giving you money. I don't know if you get some type of pay raise or increase or some type of pension due to a pregnancy for some of you. I don't know if that's how that works, <laughs> but... um. I'm seeing, and if there's no pregnancy involved, I'll just see you giving birth to something, whether this is a new job or a new way of making money or a pay raise or increase, there's money coming towards you. So if you were burdened about finances, it's coming towards you. A mother could be burdened by the fact that they've been holding on to this money. I don't feel like it was malicious. I feel like they were holding on to it to give it to you at the right time just so you wouldn't spend it frivolously. But I heard burning a hole in someone's pocket. Like they just want to give it away to you. Clarifying the four of pentacles is the nine of swords. So if you've been having a hard time saving, like someone's been holding back and it's been like driving them crazy. Four of cups. Someone was holding back and now they feel like something's a missed opportunity. And now someone's losing it. Or they feel like if they hold back for too long, something's going to be a missed opportunity. Clarifying the tower is the six of wands. Okay, so all of a sudden, something works out for you. So whatever you were saving up money for or holding back for, you thought it was a missed opportunity or you thought you missed your chance, you didn't. 
I feel like someone's having anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, um, excessively worried about something or working on something, carrying a lot of responsibility here. A mother could be carrying a lot of responsibility or you could carry a lot of responsibility to give birth to this thing. It doesn't have to be a child. <laughs> but I feel like all of a sudden you get a victory. All of a sudden, yeah. Seven of Swords, this is your card, Aquarius. So some type of plan or strategy you had, I heard algorithm. So you worked something out and it works for you. So, so yeah, some type of plan or strategy you had ends up blowing up. It ends up working out for you. You end up getting a victory. Good for you. Clarifying judgment is the nine of pentacles and you end up getting this financial independence. Nice. So whatever in the page of pentacles. So it could have taken a long time to get here though. It could have dragged on forever. If this is like a court case or something, it could have dragged on forever. But something was like taking forever to be released to you or given to you. Or yeah, it was taking a long time for someone to call judgment for you to be free of something. But I feel like you created some type of strategy to get money. And it was very successful or some type of strategy you created to get some type of victory or success or attention. And it's brought you financial independence, freedom and stability. Over energy is the devil Capricorn. I feel like you were obsessively, like I heard excess earlier, you were excessively working on something. You were working it out to a T. Also, if you're worried about someone like, yeah, with protection and seven of swords, if you were worried about someone plotting on you, strategizing against you, lying, cheating, stealing, their whole plan has blown up. So whatever someone was getting away with, they're not anymore. Their whole seven of swords is blown up. Seven of swords clarified by the tower. Their whole plan is blown up and you get a victory here. So if someone was trying to sabotage something or destroy something or ruin something, that whole plan has been destroyed. I feel like if someone was trying to cause someone a tower and they were cheering about that, ooh, it's backfiring. Like if someone did lie or cheat or steal and try to cause you a tower, like they're going, whoever did this is going through a tower, just plain and simple. Like I feel like someone cheated to get a victory or they did some underhand shit to get a victory. And someone's facing judgment for that. And I feel like you've had to heal from that or you've healed from that significantly with the star and tears. Yeah, with the devil, I feel like there was some level of fear or addiction or codependency here. But I feel like um, there was that was just obsession. There was some obsessive need to win here. I feel like someone thought if they held back long enough, someone would miss an opportunity or they held back too long so someone could miss an opportunity. But all of a sudden, someone gets success and someone's strategy blows up. And you're free of something. So it's a victory on your end. Even if someone did betray you, because I keep getting like, even if someone did betray you, it's a victory on your end. You get success and someone gets a tower and faces judgment while you're free of something. Because I feel like someone did something underhanded to get a victory and it's backfiring. And you've healed or you're healing from this. I feel like you've healed from this. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.